Welcome to Brawlhalla. Yeah, just keeps on going. Experience with an absolutely amazing performance yesterday in the two v two, uh, in the two v two side of things. But Faze up being a really solidified, good and uh, good and consistent top eight placer. Uh, this is gonna be tough for Experience. This is gonna be seriously tough for them. Almost with a almost with a final set of the night here. The poly and. As you know, we saw before, I want things to turn up even more. I want to see more action. I want to see more neutral gameplay. I want to see big hits and big confirms between phase on and experience. That's what I was about to say. If you, if, if you got that toss down, that would have been wild. Yeah, Faison looking incredibly strong so far. Experience starting to respond though, getting really good axe combos coming out left and right. Faison now actually going all the way down to orange. Experience is putting up a really good fight here. So both right now in the red, both completely are almost on arm as a cannon given away. And Faison oh. have the control, but whoa! Experience switches it up on them. Now it's the axe as well, looking to get Look, a little bit of chip damage down at least. Put them to at least the yellow for ultimately they have that stock taken. I see how careful they're playing. This axe can be wild as sight as well on that reach. It's nice too. Bazon is going in hard though with the scythe and that there is actually all it's gonna take. So experience wasn't able to extend that lead very far. Bazon going over to that side to find a read or two and get some really good damage getting going right from the start. Almost able to find it there. Not, not, just not able to react to that dodge. Really, really close though. He had the right idea going. It was nice, like you mentioned. Uh... But again, this game is as you continue to play more and more with your opponent, how far as you head on this set to the next to the next. Adapting, reading, and understanding exactly what you're up against and seeing how your opponent is playing, any tendencies that they might have. Definitely can help out these players a ton. Because everything counts right now. Everything counts. Especially when we're looking this even, that's the d -Sig. Oh, that actually wasn't enough to KO the ceiling on Demon Island just being so far up. Not gonna be able to kill still. That really looked like it should have, but not quite enough. Next one surely will do it. Phazon switching over to the gauntlets, looking to confirm this. But Experience gets the D-Light Nair just before he's able to. And that's, that, that's what Experience in the lead now. This right now, but so already in the red, but it gets a lot of damage that, but already puts him to the yellow. That's a really nice combo over the cannon. This should really be the confirm as yet, being able to recover, but Faison should not let him manage to get back on the stage. Might be all she wrote. He's out the gloves. He wants to spar. Hey, misses it. Gets the confirm there at the back end. Nice weapon toss. So between them. And yo, experience yeah. is just racking up the damage. Yeah, really, really racking up the damage. You just gotta finish it off here, but Faison will find that recovery. So this is still looking very, very doable for Faison. Just gotta get a bit of a damage. Uh, just has to win these trades, man. Just get a bit more damage than experience. Win encounters, and uh, that's uh, that's gonna put Faison in the win. But the sig coming out from experience is gonna be all it takes, and experience will be winning the first game against Faison himself. Really solid way of breaking out. You saw that as he got towards the second stop, those cannon combos. Like, the after did not hold back, too. And considering how much their experience was able to do, you can see why they're uh, experienced at this game. Three, Sorry. Two, Go ahead and leave one. them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it took me so long to get the joke. I actually hate you. I hate... Uh, I'm joking. I love you. <laughs> we all love you. Don't worry. It's fine. Oh, oh. that's really interesting. I saw, I saw Experience go for a really interesting follow-up. You saw Experience go for Sidelight Dare with Axe. That's a really, really tight and unique and just situational combo in general to go for. Seeing Experience whip out a combo like that? 
gives me faith that experience has a ridiculous amount of experience on axe and you can see it right here experience just absolutely shredding phase on so far going with this hard unarmed off stage and that's put him in the lead experience experience doing this well against the seed two phase on himself this is huge this is seriously impressive stuff like you're mentioning his off stage plays the confidence you see coming out of them is like genuinely phenomenal getting to cover on oh. this new part of that dc we will we'll be whole we'll matches finish them off to one to one in terms of stocks not even too far in terms of damage either phase on see right now wants to make sure to get into experience his face doesn't want to give him any more space and it's already being given because you know what he can do with that as you finally see the axe come out for experience didn't see much of that last time yeah, this is it right here. Oh, amazing double stare coming onto phase on goes for the recovery as well. That should be it. That should be them down. But no, they actually regain their ability. They regain their options, and the end light will ultimately still be enough to take down phase on. But the thing I wanted to mention, that's the thing with players like Experience. He's coming into this with nothing to lose. Like last time I checked, and I might be completely wrong. If that's the case, please. Please don't kill me, okay? I'm just a caster. He, he, I, I think, I'm pretty sure experience is like triple digits PR. Phazon is seed 2. So, ex experience quite literally has nothing to lose here. He has already gotten a huge gain. Like, it get, seeing these placements is huge coming out from experience. Let's see if he can continue it on this right now. So that one stock lead, though, both of them playing on Arn. See, you just sight all, you know, all we needed is one dare. We shouldn't just get about the stage master to cover. The axe, they're going for these things, but the frame plays. There we go. This there doesn't manage to get the connection between them, but we'll finish it off their head. Yeah, we'll be going down there, getting dirty with their own hands, just absolutely taking them down there off stage. Phazon is looking so incredibly low though, like a D-Light Nair, something like that is going to take Phazon down here. So they got to be careful, and that's exactly what they are being. Getting good si sight damage, but it's not going to be enough. Experience will come in and scoop that Nair, with Experience now being in a 2-0 experience right now you saw managing to continue to get those one stock leads we we're talking a little bit about the adaptation that we should be seeing from your opponents i thought I'm, i've actually seen that more of an experience because you because you see a lot more that can and play he's kind of let, letting go of the axe because he knows that if he plays more header he plays more head first he plays a lot more if he plays in the face yeah, and it seems to be working out fairly well so far. We are going to be rotating into the third game, and oh my god! Oh my god, Ravish. Absolutely just okay. going off stage. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I'm, what I'm, just I'm, happened? I'm, I'm, what just I'm, happened? And I'm trying to form words, currently, but we were mentioning that experience is, you know, just like really solid with the off stage play, especially with the cannon. They seem very confident about it, but this might be a bit too off stage. I was gonna say, like, they were adapting the phase on really well, playing super aggro in front of their face, making sure that he can't have time to recover on anything, or even think about what's about to happen next. It was a good edge guarding for a while, but experience the magic to recover, creates oh. a reversal. Okay, he recover, but he just barely just touches the edge. Should be on. Phase on is going crazy. Phase on is going crazy. I don't know what Phazon did, he, fli he flipped a switch somewhere inside of his brain. He's going absolutely nuts at the moment, but experience is- Oh, I thought that was going to be it! Oh, it is! That is going to be it! That is going to be Phazon down after a really, really roller coaster encounter there offstage. Phazon, Phazon is do looking a lot better than the previous games. Phazon has started adapting. This th this might be the download, and you saw it right there. Ooh, got the got the GC, but, but wasn't quite able to maximize maximize the amount of damage out of that experience. Just try to jump out of that combo there, and it worked out for him. But Phazon is looking untouched so far at this stock. If experience, oh never mind. I was gonna say Phazon wins. <laughs> I was gonna say if Phazon wins that stock with being untouched, that's gonna look real bad. But experience will find a couple of hits. That's gonna be him down though. Now, Faison did manage to get the stock pretty much being untouched here, but 
I was gonna say half of this game has been played on this side of the stage, and the other half has been played off stage. Like oh, I can't, yeah. like, <laughs> like I can't remember a time that both these players have been at the center fighting for stage control. No, it's literally just been edge guarding, and who can recover better? That has been it. Yeah, they, they might as well just remove. They might as well just remove that half of the screen, and the, the match would look pretty much the same. Just a yeah. one-sided, just a one-sided match altogether. Oh, but we're at this side now, so <laughs> Caster's curse, rubbish. Oh, but they're going down heavy. Oh Jesus, this could be horrible. Okay, gets the end light on the axe. Gonna look for the KO here. Goes for the recovery. Phazon was expecting it. Not gonna be going into that that time around. Goes for the Sig. Phazon wasn't able to punish it. Goes for the Dare now offstage. Going huge. Oh, Ooh. experience coming back with the recovery to throw Phazon off guard. Did so successfully. And experience is looking a lot better now. Remember, Phazon's fighting for his life here, if I'm correct. Like, experience has been getting two in a row right now. So, like, this right now, he is the... He's got to turn things up a little bit. We were seeing at the beginning of the match was looking real good. He's got to look a little bit better. Yeah, we're looking incredibly even so far. This is it. If Experience is able to close this out, that would be taking down the seed two of the tournament in a 3-0 while being triple digit PR. That would be an absolutely huge accomplishment. I would assume that this is where the nerve starts kicking in. Now, is Azon going to be able to maximize off of that? Or is Experience going to be able to find a killing blow? It's looking like it. We're getting closer and closer to the ending of the game. Looking for a bit of a dodge reaction <laughs> there but wasn't able to find it phase on now going to be switching over to those gauntlets looking for the killing blow experience is just so unable to find it Ooh. there it is the dare experience will be beating phase on in a 3-0 sending him straight to top eight jesus christ this is it right here ravish this is the reason we have the b stream imagine <laughs> if this game was never crazy. streamed